You know, Haig had his moments. The loudest human voice I ever heard. You know, you could hear that voice cut through the din of a thousand Prime Minister's questions, booming out. In over 20 years in politics, he has betrayed every cause he ever believed in, contradicted every statement he has made, and broken every promise he has given. Well, at least it was something we could agree on. <laughs> but I always knew that Haig was a no-hoper. Being a baldy, him and that other baldy, Ian Duncan Baldy Smith, you remember him? What's he up to now? Eh? Nothing much for sure. Him and Haig, did you ever hear about them in the papers? No, I mean, who wants to see a baldy on the front page? It's golden rule number two. The people will not vote for baldies. Instead of the old Tories, it was the new conservative and baldy political suicide party. Oh no, don't laugh. Glory day is broken to pieces. The Tories had no leader and the people saw that. The world was Tony's, was, was uh, our oyster. <laughs> Gordon Brown, a.k.a. Ian Grieve. Very good to see you. Thank Hi, you for, very much for coming in. And here's uh, Kevin Toulis, as a uh, writer and director. I want to pick up on the, that, that, that part of, uh, of the monologue there, Kevin. And um, you know, a lot of things that went wrong for Gordon Brown were about image, weren't they? Politics is very cruel. Um, what you, how you look on the telly, as you know, Dermot, you, know, you don't get bald TV anchor men. How you look on the telly is really, really important and often a lot more important than actually what you're actually saying. And Gordon Brown's image was one that never really appealed to the Southern well, English. Well, he seemed to, I mean, I remember, uh, you know, the kind of transformation from when he turned from Chancellor to Prime Minister. He tried to become a lot more smiley, which a lot of people say did, didn't really work. He did have a secret kind of re-imaging uh, programme called Operation Volvo, where he had his teeth done, he had his hair. Um, they really spent a, an awful long time reshaping him into somebody who was more acceptable to what we call Southland. That's really the southern middle classes. But basically, they never wanted to invite a dodgy Scots bloke with a jowly neck to the family barbecue or in, vote for him at the next general election. Uh,